Oh, God. Headache. I didn't really have that much to drink, did I? No. But I did travel through a shift into a parallel universe, which would explain this weird compulsion to curl up into a fetal position and go back to sleep. Not that I'm particularly looking forward to it, but I guess I have to go find that Warren guy Cortez told me about down on Hope Street. And hey, like that's not enough. I have to avoid bumping into Zack today. Last night's, um, uh, date is not something any of us should be reminded of, and I'm not just talking about the incident with the groping and me kicking him in the groin. Doesn't he get that no means no? No. The watch is ticking. What the fuck was your glitch last night, bitch? I'm sorry? What did you call me? I take you to a top-class club, wine you and dine you, and you slap me in the fucking face? Did you ask yourself why I slapped you, Zack? I don't fucking care. You'll regret fucking with me, bitch. I can promise you that. What are you gonna do? You'll find out, April Ryan. You're gonna be so fucking sorry you ever fucked with me. It's a perfect fit. I'm so clever, I could just die. It's Constable Guybrush. My toy? I 
think he's in trouble. Looks like he knows how to use that steel pipe. The boss man. From his uniform, I'd say he's one of the West Side Kings. They got recruitment posters all over town. She's gone. Cabs never stop on Hope Street. Those candles. Do they have ladders? Or jetpacks? That's a funky idea. Priests with rockets on their backs. That would give a whole new dimension to evening services. Maybe they're just holographic candles. It's a baby angel. A cherub? He's got a red robe wrapped around his posterior, and he looks to be in a hurry. I can't remember reading about this particular incident in the Bible. Maybe it was in the, um, the sequel? Nah. That came out only five years ago, and this wall painting looks a lot older than that. It's the confessional. It's been more than two years since my last confession, but... No. I'm not in a mood to be counting beads right now, and with my list of, um, shortcomings, I'll be counting beads for a very long time. It's a priest. Good morning. I'm Father Raoul. You're not a Hope Street regular, are you? I haven't seen you here before. I don't visit the neighborhood very often, no. And why should you? It's not a very nice place. This cathedral is all there's left of the hope in Hope Street. I'm sorry to hear that, Father. So am I. But we cope. We cope. How may I be of assistance? Do you know a boy named Warren Hughes? As a matter of fact, I do. The Hugheses were regulars before they traveled to the colonies. Poor Warren was left an orphan by his family. I haven't seen him for years. Where does Warren live? I'm not sure he lives anywhere. But he does belong to a Hope Street gang, the Razor Blades, I believe. They seem to conjugate just down the street in Building 87. Be careful, though. Although they're far from the worst gang around here, they're not a particularly friendly lot, and they don't care for strangers. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Still, be careful. Do people still go to church? Yes, some do. Some do. Religion is pretty resilient. Religion, sure. But there's so many new religions, and people tend to abandon the old ones, don't they? They'll be back. The Voltex and the Manus of the world offer only a fleeting chance of material happiness. What they cannot offer is spiritual enlightenment. So you're not worried about the competition? We have over 2,000 years of experience and tradition to build on. I don't see us just rolling over on our backs and giving up, no. Thank you, Father. Please come by again if you're ever in the neighborhood. It's a boy. Looks to be about 15 or so. Can I talk to you for a minute? You know where I can find a kid named Warren Hughes? Who's asking? Um, I am. Warren Hughes. Never heard of him. What's your name? 
What's yours? April Ryan. Lucky you. All right, well, I guess you can't help me. Nope. Nobody can. What do you mean? A nice, pretty girl like you in a neighborhood like this, asking all the wrong questions. You're heading for some serious trouble, you know. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Sure you can. The thing is, there are four guys waiting downstairs for you to come back out, and they can take care of themselves real good. Don't threaten me. I ain't threatening you, girl. I'm just telling you how it is. You're in deep shit, and you've only got yourself to blame. What do you want from me? I should have asked you the same question. Except I don't care. You should have thought twice before coming after me. After you? I didn't come... So you're Warren. What? Like you didn't know? No. Cortez told me your name, where to find you, but... Hold on. Cortez? Old Spanish talking dude. Real crazy in the head? That's a fair description, yeah. Shit. You're not a cop. Social services? You're corporate? No, no, I'm a... a friend of Cortez. He said to look you up. I haven't seen Cortez in a while. Not since before... So what does Senior Cortez want with me? We need some help. What kind of help? Look, I gotta stay incognito most of the time now that corporates and cops are stepping up their search for us. I can't go risking my ass for nobody. Not even Cortez. That's all right. I just need some information on a group called the Vanguard. And their leader, Jacob McAllen. Oh, sorry. Never heard of those guys. You wouldn't have. They keep to themselves. And they got some kind of cover operation going. But I don't know what it is, and... You want... need to find out? All right. Here's the thing. I got a friend who might be able to help you out. Great! Hold on. Before I use up my favors with him, I need you to do me a favor in return. Probably even help yourself out at the same time. Fair enough. What do I have to do? Easy. Break into the Newport Police Department computer archives. Get me some information on my family. Destroy my criminal record and get the hell out of there. Preferably alive. Forget it! That's illegal! Damn woman, is it? I had no idea. Listen. You won't just be doing me a favor. There's probably some information on the... Vanguard's was it? In the archives. And that information will be valuable to my friend if he's gonna help you. I'll do it. Smart decision. So here's the thing. My dad doped out on raps and seduced by commercials. Sold out our whole family to the shiny happy colonization program for a lifetime supply of the big R. The Rapture. He neglected to ask his lovely wife and children, and the corpus didn't care. One day they came to pick up my mom, my sister, and me. I got away though, snuck out the window, and I spent the next two weeks in a dumpster. And your family? That's just it. I don't know. Off to the colonies, of course, but which one? I don't know. Sometimes they split up families too. You know, they don't tell you that in their ads. I don't give a shit about my dad, and my mom, she's tough. She can take care of herself, but I want my sister back. We were real tight. I'm not gonna let him use her in the mines and factories out there. So, you want me to find out where they took your sister? That's it. You're catching on. You do that for me, and delete my criminal record at the same time to get them damn corporates off my ass. I'll give you all the help you need. Where's the police station? Take the subway to Metro West. You'll come out on what they call Cop Street. You'll see the NPD headquarters down the block. You can't miss it. I'd better get going. Be cool, eh?
another unfortunate victim of the Anglo-Pacific Wars of the 90s. It's your garden variety robotic roadblock. You see them all over this pothole infested town. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. This is so gross. And me in my favorite shirt. Hey, is that a fermin? Ah, oh, no, it's dead rat. I'm not gonna check out that other mitten in the corner. I think it just moved. How utterly, utterly pointless is this? And I'm starting to reek a little of oh, crap, too. This is Lucinda Carlisle reporting live from just outside the Metro Precinct Police Station, and I bring you today a senseless and tragic display of technology gone wrong. In the carnage you see behind me, medical drones are digging through the rubble of a crashed shuttle for the remains of over 100 people who lost their lives today in an accident. That could and should have been prevented. Only hours ago, a brave New World Airlines shuttle, carrying starry-eyed colonists to the Metro Tower, experienced an engine failure. And came roaring down on this street without warning, crushing three cars and burying nine innocent pedestrians and two would-be carjackers. The cause of this human tragedy? As of yet, there is no official report. We can only speculate, and speculate we will. Was the pilot drunk? Was he hopped up on Amethyn? Was someone aboard carrying a bomb? Did the manufacturers of the shuttle, Monster Limited, skimp on a part and import it from a bootleg factory in Germany? The truth could be any or all of the above. But whoever is responsible, and whatever the punishment, it won't bring any of those bloodied, mangled corpses to life. It won't bring Teresa Roseman, mother of three, back to her husband, Marty. That loss is forever, and a huge cash settlement can only ease the pain. It can never remove it altogether. Only expensive brain surgery or personality modification through proprietary drugs can do that. The exact death count is still under wraps, and work will continue throughout the day to identify the thousands of body parts that are being picked one by one from the twisted wreckage of BNWA Shuttle 709. What repercussions will this accident have on our city? Probably none. You fly a shuttle, you take your chances. This is Lucinda Carlisle, reporting live for the Metro Channel Action News. Back to you, Lisa and Dan. Are we clear? How did I do? Uh-huh. And what are the ratings? Five million? That's it? Five million? Jesus, we've lost out to reruns of Gillian's Island? What the fuck, Gregory? Why the hell did you... Yeah, 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 don't give me any of that shit. You were the one who said this would broaden my audience. I, I, I should have stuck with the game shows. Jesus! It's a police officer. He's guarding the wreckage. Mission 5. Move along. There is nothing to see here. Except for the escaped convict right behind you. I'm on special duty today, ma'am. 
so that escaped convict will have to take care of himself. After all, who'd guard this perimeter in my absence? Uh, me? I'll be good. That was a rhetorical question, ma'am. You are not qualified. Now, move on. Nothing to see here. Except for that crashed hovercraft. Nah. You see those everywhere these days. Sorry? Dime a dozen. Crashed hovercraft are a dime a dozen? Fifteen a week, ma'am. At the very least. In this city alone. But they say it's the safest mode of transportation available. Statistically, yes. Unless you're aboard one of the buggers. Then your chance of survival drops drastically. What? They're the safest mode of transportation, if you stay on the ground. The chances of being hit by one going down are relatively low. Thanks for ruining my trust in modern technology. We're here to protect and serve. Isn't it the other way around? Just keep it moving, ma'am. Nothing to see here. Except for you, officer. Eh? Me? I always did love a man in a uniform. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm gay. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. <coughs> Except... I won't tell you again, so move along. There is absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing. Jeez, don't you people have anything better to do? <coughs> Are you feeling all right, officer? Thank you, ma'am. I'm fine. All the dust from the debris is just... Choking me up. <laughs> Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. The color indicates that they're using military grade lasers. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm, or worse, getting fried by that military-grade laser. Mission 5. Mission 5. It's a police officer. He's guarding the entrance. How do I get into the station? That is the question, is it not? Pardon? To get in, or not to get in? That is the question. Good grief, more weirdos. Oh, I'm not a weirdo. I'm an actor. No offense, but isn't that an oxymoron? Lady, you are the cruelest she alive. How do I get into the station? You don't. Not today. But I need to get in. What if there's been a crime? Good point. I guess you need to report it via one of the many kiosks installed throughout the city, or by contacting an officer of the law. Like yourself? I am but a humble servant of Her Majesty. And I'm actually assigned to Vice, so don't bother. Any chance you'll let me through? Shower me with sweet forgiveness, Princess, but unfortunately, I cannot. The doors ain't working. The doors aren't working? They're not. Good Lord, I must report this immediately, after I'm done with my policing exercise. Did you say the doors weren't working? Ah, correct. The only things getting in and out of the station today are police officers, prisoners, and garbage. Aren't they all pretty much one and the same thing? Cutting words from a wench's barbed mouth? What did you call me? Hmm, sweet princess. That's more like it. How are you able to bring garbage out and prisoners in when the doors are broken? These doors don't work, but the gate downstairs does, of course. You can only get through that inside of a vehicle. The security measures are quite extreme. Like how extreme? 
Can you say radiation poisoning? Why are you parading back and forth like that? I am practicing the fine art of policing you. It doesn't look like policing. It looks like acting. Bollocks! And I thought I was making progress. Maybe if you tried being a little less... rigid? Yeah, but it's this bloody suit. It makes everyone move the same way. I'm not able to release the character. Are you an actor? Or a cop? Both, darling. Both. I am an actor, but I will portray an officer of the law in my next motion picture. It's called Mad Cop 2. I play the Mad Cop's friend, the somewhat ticked off cop. I think I saw the first one. It stunk. I agree. But this one has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi, flair, that the original lacked. You mean more violence, more sex, less plot? That's it. So you're doing research for your next role? Indeed, my fair maiden, I am. I have been assigned to a squad to capture the essence of Her Majesty's honorable service. And what squad would that be? Vice. Thanks, and good luck. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Farewell, princess. Till we meet again, farewell. Looks like the truck's route takes it down below the police station. That's probably where the cops dump their trash. And the mangled bodies of uncooperative witnesses. So, the garbage gets into the station. Hmm. I do all my grocery shopping at T-Rex. Not that their food is particularly good, nor their prices particularly low. I just love their ads. They're tray cool. Especially the one where they built an actual-sized robot dinosaur and sent it out to mangle a competing chain of grocery stores. For real! I don't know if anybody got hurt, but man, that campaign kicked ass! It says Calavera Crossing MCW, and the street ID number is 0092. It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. It says Threadbare Lane, MCW, and the street ID number is 3018. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. Perhaps if I try entering, the idea of the intersecting street, the roadblock will move. So, the garbage gets into the station. Hmm. It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old.
That was so gross. The things I do to save the world, I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that rat just wouldn't let go. Disgusting. Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my sorry life. Tuvok? Tuvok? You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. <coughs> From my extensive knowledge of cop shows, I'd say she's probably the desk sergeant on duty. For some reason, they're always slightly overweight and grumpy. <coughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Where are the archives? The archives? You're not an officer of the law, are you? So what if I'm not? <clears throat> then you can't go into the back, capiche? Cops only. Besides, half the doors in this building, including that one, are out of order. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. And until those overpaid, underworking service guys get off their butts and back to work, that's the way it's gonna stay. <laughs> Thanks anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? Thanks anyway. <coughs> it's a thin guy wearing red coveralls. He looks like a repairman. Hiya! Huh? You an angel from heaven come to take me away? No point talking to old Georgie there. Ever since he overdosed on raptures, he ain't been right in the head. I don't ever let him hold the hammer no more either, I'll tell you that. <coughs> Hi. What do you want? We're on our lunch break, honey. Why are you guys working? We're on our contractually bound lunch break. Uh, huh. Right. But you're not eating. We're done eating, sure. But we're still on our break. Clause 16 of the contract, and I quote, improper digestion may prove detrimental to further work-related activities, end quote. Meaning what? We're letting the corned beef settle, honey. Aren't you supposed to fix the doors? That's right. But instead you're just... sitting here. That's right. And you're not planning on getting back to work anytime soon? That's right. And you're not bothered by this. That's right. I could say anything, anything at all. That's right. <coughs> and you just answer... <coughs> that's right. Well, how's that for productivity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It'd be so <laughs> nice if you could fix the doors. And it would be so nice if you could go away and leave us alone. Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No. Short of emergency, we ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. What constitutes an emergency? Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. <laughs> what kind of work order? <laughs> ah, well, you know. About the work order... Yeah? Which one? You know, for emergencies. You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? <coughs> uh, sure. <coughs> well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. Thus allowing our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? <laughs> Never mind. Where do I go to get the requisition form? What form? The requisition form for the short-term tactical suspension of... Uh... Of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. <laughs> Excuse me. 
How do I smell? Smell? Are you coming on to me, honey? What? I don't know. Women don't usually come on to me, so I'm I'm just checking. I wouldn't want to miss a come on. I asked you how I smelled. Yeah, right. Um, like, uh, moldy pizza and... Um, is that salmon? Smoked. <laughs> yeah. And a faint touch of rum? I had an accident with a bottle inside a garbage container. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. You're not alone. In fact, there are meetings downtown every Wednesday night. I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> if you can't admit it to yourself, honey, you do. After all, who's the one reeking a rum? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> not today, anyway. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. <coughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? <laughs> I need the requisition form called Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. All right, all right. What's the number? N number? I need to know the identification number of that form. You know, the five-digit alphanumerical ID. Aren't those documents arranged alphabetically? Yeah, yeah, they are. But I still <laughs> need a number. Capiche? Thanks, anyway. It's a toolbox. There's a sheet of paper in here. <coughs> Some kind of requisition form or work order. Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. There it is, 09042. That's the number the desk sergeant wanted. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? I need a requisition form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. <sighs> Hold on. Here you go, miss. <laughs> Union requisition form number 09042. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. The work order's blank. I better forge, ooh, uh, fill out this work order first. <coughs> Fix the damn doors. Sign the commission. There. <laughs> now we're set. What's this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. Say what? Lady, do you realize what you've just done? <laughs> you've... interrupted our lunch break! This is an official work order! It can't be. Wait. 09042. This isn't 09042-A, is it? Uh... No, just plain old 09042 dash nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form. Addendum for public holidays. Us being on triple overtime and all. So? So, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. It's me again. <sighs> Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? <laughs> because I'm a cruel bitch and I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. Hmm. Holds on. <laughs> All right, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. <coughs> Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042-A. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. Public holiday addendum. Now we're set, I hope. Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Balls! We've been nailed, George. Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work, thanks to this... <laughs> Lovely young lady. <laughs> at least they're doing something, even if it's just staring at the panel. Are you guys gonna be done soon? Hey, who knows? This is complicated stuff, honey. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. <laughs> Good to see you up and about, George. Mister! Mister! <laughs> the plane! The plane! Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? Thanks anyway. <laughs> this phone, 099-12090. It's an old vid phone. Ancient, ancient technology. Visuals are so passe. <laughs> I haven't spoken with Mom since I... since I left, actually. I should give her a ring. <coughs> Hello? Hi, Mom? It's April. How are you? Where are you, sweetheart? In the city, Mom, you know that. <laughs> Why didn't you call? We've been... I've been worried sick about you, sweetheart. 
Didn't you get my letter? Yes, and I can't say I understand why. Well, that was the problem, wasn't it? You didn't understand. <laughs> I don't think it was fair of you to be so hard on your father. You hurt him a lot, you know? And I'm not just talking about you pushing him down the stairs. And what about me? You don't think he hurt me? Were you so blind you didn't see that? April, <laughs> you know I can't take sides in this. No. Of course not. Not you. Not ever. Anyway, how is... Is Dad doing okay? I mean, after the fall. He broke his arm and he had to take some time off work. Money short because of that. We had to pull Danny out of school until next semester. You can't blame me for those things, Mom. If you hadn't left like you did... I'd probably be dead now, Mom. I couldn't take it anymore. Please, let's not argue about this now. I just wanted to... <laughs> wanted to hear your voice. Please come home, April. We still love you. No. Thank you, but no. That's not gonna happen. Listen, I have to go. I'm in the middle of something. Take care, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I love you. Yeah, me too, Mom. Bye. Film. The screen and camera are both out of order. <coughs> hey, there's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be union business. Out of my way, lady! It's a toolbox. Wires. One red, one blue. I can't get to the wires while these guys are working on them. I need to create some kind of distraction. Get them away from the panel. There's a call for you too, sir. Me? I get no calls, ever. Except from my mommy. Is it my mommy? <laughs> uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. Uh, thanks. It's a long shot, but if I try to cross these wires... <laughs> Voila! I'm so good. <laughs> You can't go back there. It's a restricted area. I need to distract her. But <laughs> Let's see. What's the most difficult form to get a hold of? The label on that shelf says, Reporting indecent or lewd behavior by bingo or BM personnel. Number 31366. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number? world's favorite soda. And after the devastating soda wars of 2159, the world's only soda. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Let's see. 
cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck! I'll go with the old standby, bingo classic. Boring, but safe. It's a can of delicious bingo classic soda. Even if it wasn't the only soda available, bingo would still be the soda for me. Archives. It's a retinal scanner, instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. Locker room. The showers. Unisex, of course. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Sergeant Morty Lowe. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. It's a light switch. It's occupied. Hi, who's in there? Manelli, who's asking? God, I know that voice. What? Who are you? Agent Scully, FBI. You'll be running the chief's office then? That's down the hall. Oh my God, babe. Hello? Who is it? It's me! Oh, hey, hey, wait. I know that voice. Identify yourself. Uh, um, I gotta run. Hey, hold it, come back. Oh, my God, that hurts. Hello? Who is it? Sergeant Hernandez! Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh, oh God. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You can never tell from looking at him. Tummy ooh ah. Fast relief for a runny tummy. Sergeant Minnelli's been banging his locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. I'll just carefully separate this shard from the mirror. Like so. I'll have to be careful carrying this around. Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. Oh, thank God, thank God. Uh. How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. Shoot! 
Phew! No need to go any further, sir. Thanks, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. How's Mrs. Minnelli doing? Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Oh, hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... It is what it is, you know? About Mrs. Minnelli. God damn it, Maria, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Being nice? Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake, you don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can! Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Oh, crap, my eye! It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. Hey, leave my eye alone! There you are. Back in your slot. It's a light switch. <laughs> Oh, crap, my eye! What the hell happened to my... Maria! Maria, did you take my eye? Give it back! There you are. Back in your slot. Crap, my eye! There you are. Back in your slot. Oh, God, I'm seeing red. I'm having a stroke. Maria! Maria, go get the doctor fast. I'm seeing red. It's a control panel with a weird keyboard. If I remember my digital history lessons correctly, that's what's called a dot matrix printer. They used that in, like, the 18th century or something. It's a computer from, like, the Stone Age. I've never seen anything like it outside of a museum. It's a miracle it's still working, let alone in active service. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli, and I feel really guilty doing this. I, uh, love my wife Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura? 0731? Please, 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 please. Yes! I am so...
so good again. Now, what to search for? Just make a few small changes, nothing major. That's much better. Scary how easy it is to manufacture a saint. I don't think I need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. He's been kind of active. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? It's a long shot, but... The Church of Voltec is the front of the vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Jacob McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. The so-called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. I'm just gonna make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Sister, please, please let there be something. Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. The only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. I'd better get a hard copy of this for Warren.
It's a control panel for the archive retrieval unit. It's the hard copy of all the information Warren wanted on his sister and himself. There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. It's a tiny data cube with a non-standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. It's the hard copy of all the information Warren wanted on his sister and himself. It's a screwdriver. The repairman must have left it by accident. <coughs> it's a magnetized screwdriver. abandon his post. I need to come up with a better plan, and being a good Samaritan may be the honorable course of action, but it won't help me save the world. Worlds. I don't want to know what he's doing. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents. They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... My parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister... I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. I see you wiped my record clean. That's good. I wasn't sure if you could be able to do that. No problemo. I'm not too shabby with computers. So let me know what I can do for your sister. Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right. You got it. Head on out to the Newport docks down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. 
Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. Cargo containers. Cargo containers. The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! Gas-guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. Thanks for putting your greasy hands on me! I'm now charged with a fuckload of electricity and any further physical contact will result in you being toast! Uh-oh. It bites. It's a rickety ladder. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Where there's ventilation, there's life. Even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole, there's just no way I'm gonna risk getting stuck ten feet down and starved to death. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint, then? That's so last century. It's a container. I've been up close and personal with enough trash for one lifetime. So... No! You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes, you know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but... So, fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. I'm not a slag! Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off. No, no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think I was born yesterday? 
Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I bite because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Oh, you're such a bastard! Listen! If I was out to arrest you, don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit. Channel warm scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. You're telling me that that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Very solid. There's light down there, but the pit's too deep to see anything. It's a guy in a hover chair. That's gotta be Burns Flipper. Hello? Are you Burn? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I knocked, you let me in. We spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any Warren. Oh, Warren, right, yeah, Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. The Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah, oh, you his baby, yeah. Oh, sure, I date 15-year-olds all the time. Whatever. So, what the fuck do you want? I need some information. So visit the fucking library, or go bother the Oracle, or whatever. The Flipper can't help you? That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was, better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams, the emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard, or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names? Names are nothing. What do you mean? Details! Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman! There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map! What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything, from joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. What would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get, for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S-Smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S-Smart. Nah, what I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> what happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You wanna know? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't wanna know. I'll tell you you took my legs. Captain Crunch! Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. 
Are you a virgin? What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. I am a virgin. Right. And I lost my legs in a hunting accident. Mosquito bit it off. Nasty motherfucker. Really? Nah. Just fucking with you again. Well, gosh darn it, you really got me there, boy. Oh, ouch, it bites. You got teeth, honey. Let me have it. Ah! You're weird. So are you. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns, yeah. Beautiful. Ha! See ya! Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it, I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Could you? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little plaything, I'd kick you out. And yeah, whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipster. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first, take a look at this recording. Just step over to the screen there, I'll play it back for you, okay? To join in the effort, we must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be Victorious. What the Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. I am not, by nature, a man of violence, nor are you. I know that. But the time comes when all people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve their beliefs. That time 
Think your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGowan, head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard, if you wish. Suppose a peaceful philosopher, dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, as clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? That's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. The grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But, both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important, so when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking thing. He's trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. Now, he runs the whole dark side of the Church of vault -Tec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses, and I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Now, you're either very brave or very stupid, Chiquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you... Why are you doing it? That's, uh... Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operations, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Which is... MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. 
Big guys. Almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Faked the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude! What the fuck do you think, shit? Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ! You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking... What do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit! Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. A sorry friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like... Three hundred dollars. Ha! <laughs> Try twenty k on for size shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. It don't come cheap. That stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's I just may, <laughs> it'll still come to fifteen thousand dollars, baby. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita. That urge disappeared with my little legs. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a... a favor or something you need. Don't think I need a... Whoa! God! Shit, it gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one. Before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure. Like you're gonna find one. <laughs> What would I need to get you to pay for a fake ID? A new working AG control unit from my chair would be real nice. Wicked nice. Thanks. S sure.
I think that's quite enough. This is volatile stuff. I'd better get rid of it as soon as possible. Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. Damn, damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. I feel so bad. And I love it. I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. The AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. Yanking it free might damage the unit.
Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Thanks! Sure! Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! Is this what you need? Whoa! Heavy duty! That baby's worth just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Yeah! Hey, with this I might even be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent! So how soon can you have the ID ready? Ah, uh, a couple of days. Couple of days? I need it now. Oh no, 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 no. Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl. Staring up support for their ideas, and Arcadians, those easily misled sheep, they embrace these ideas because they prophesize change, and change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans, the vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they have... Ah, the tyrant! Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise the money and power. The Vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. What about the girl? I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... Who knows? After all, she is the one. No one seems to doubt that. The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl... We should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father. You're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. Speaking of higher powers, I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith. The cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguard seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. It's 
beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic, but I still like coming here to meditate. To pray, if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe. To the balance. To the rock in this floor and, and the air around us. To you and, and to myself. What is that, Buddhism? It's life, senorita. Pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Oh, nothing. Except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing. And magic is seeping through into this world. Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder, and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos. At least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. What about the Vanguard? We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for, if they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better, not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything, and make a stand against that which you do not believe. Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it, and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. At most, we have a week. But it should be enough. As for today, relax. Be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes. But try to enjoy yourself, because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice. Not now. There are... people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, senorita. And you. Those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? Hey. 
Hey, what are you doing? Charlie, Emma, what are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. By the way, I think Zack was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him. Or what he claims you did last night. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. For three days straight, you've been away all day. You've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Try us. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. Somehow. I'm sorry, but I really can't tell you guys anything. Okay, fine. If you're not gonna open up to us, we're not gonna try forcing you to. And don't think we'll stop being your friends or something just because of this. We'd just like to see you open up, April. If you have a change of heart, tell us. You can knock on my door or Charlie's anytime you need to, okay? We're all hanging out at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. Sure. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, girl. Sweet dreams. from.